everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's video, we will be making a back to school chalkboard. You can also use these same steps to make your own menu board as well. For this project, we'll need a picture frame, some chalk paint, and a few pieces of vinyl. Start by taking the glass and the paper out of the picture frame. What we really want is the wood backing. We are going to take this outside and spray it with a few coats of this black chalkboard paint. I'm going to prep the wood by painting it black with normal acrylic paint. This way I won't have to use as much of the chalk paint and it will also be a good medium for the chalk paint to stick to. I'll be making two of these today. The base layer on each has dried and now I'm outside and ready to use the chalk paint. The paint I'm using today is Rust-Oleum Chalkboard Spray Paint in Black. I have used this brand before a few times and the results are always good and consistent. Apply it in thin layers and let them dry for a few minutes between sprays. While the chalkboard is drying, we can cut out the vinyl. These are the colors I'm using today. Let's load them onto the mats. Vinyl doesn't stick as well to chalk paint as it does to a lot of other surfaces, so I do recommend using permanent vinyl for this project. I do have some little and intricate cuts in this design, so I want to make sure the vinyl is stuck down to the mat really well. I'll use the brayer here to help with this. Now you are ready to cut. I like to use a good scrap collector that suction cups down to the table like this one. You can also use an empty Lysol container, which has a top similar to this, it just doesn't suction cup down to the table. Now that all the weeding is done, I'll just grab my scissors and cut these sections out. Everything is cut out, so let's just line it all up on the board. I'm happy with the placement, so now I just have to stick everything on. I'll start with the large white piece, which will act as a guide for all the other pieces. Once it is in position, grab your scraper and adhere the vinyl to the chalkboard really well. Now we just repeat that process with the other pieces. Line them up where you want them and stick them down. The vinyl is in place and all we have to do now is put the frame back on. Well, there you have it. This project is done and ready to go. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.